factor, and we have two trinomials here to factor um, of that standard form, right? x squared plus bx plus c, which if we factor, we get x plus m, right, and x plus n, where m times n is equal to c, that constant, and m plus n is equal to b, the linear coefficient. So let's try the first one. If we notice here, our c is negative 20 and our b is negative 9. And what I like to do sometimes, um, just to keep organized, is make a table. And so we're looking for um, things that multiply, right, to equal negative 20 and then add to equal negative 9. So I start with, you know, it's a lot easier to think of numbers that multiply to negative 20. You have a lot smaller list is what I should say. Um, and you don't have to begin with, you know, 1 and negative 20. You can begin with whatever numbers you think of. So like 2 and 10 or 5 and 4, 1 and 20, right? Those are your pairs, 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 5 and 4, but it's a negative 20. So 1 has to be negative and 1 has to be positive. Um, so you might notice, well, 1 and 20 probably isn't going to work. It's probably either 2 or 10 or 5 and 4. When you, you might say, oh, 5 and 4, when you put that together, like, well, that makes sense because that could maybe give us 9. But remember, it has to be negative 20. So it would have to be negative 5 and positive 4 or positive 5 and negative 4. And if you add those two together, that's negative 1 and positive 1. Well, that's not negative 9, so that actually doesn't work. Well, let's try 2 and 10. So let's try negative 2 and 10 and positive 2 and negative 10. Well, negative 2 plus 10, that's 8. And 2 plus negative 10 is negative 8. Well, that doesn't work. Well, then what about the last one? What about, yeah, negative 1 and 20? That's 19. And 1 and negative 20, well, that's negative 19. So none of those pairs seem to work, and there's no other factors that we're missing. So what we actually have here is a polynomial that is not factorable, and we call that prime, like a prime number, right? A prime number cannot be divisible by anything besides one in itself. So this polynomial cannot be factored, so we call it prime. What about we try the other one? Um, x squared minus 3x plus 40. So same idea. I'm going to make a table. I want to multiply to um, be equal to our c. So multiply to be equal to 40. And I want to add to be equal to our b, which is negative 13. So think about what multiplies to 40. 1 and 40. 2 and 20. Um, let's see. 3 doesn't go into it. 4 and 10. Hmm. What else? 8 and 5. Well, let's try 4 and 10. It has to be equal to a positive 40, so it would either be 4 and 10 or negative 4 and negative 10, right? And that would give us 14 and negative 14. That doesn't work. But let's try that other pair that we just came up with. That was 5 and 8, right? And negative 5 and negative 8. And if you can't think of these off the top of your head, that's fine. Um, get out a calculator and just try plugging numbers in. You know, if you weren't sure if 3 went into 40, just do 40 divided by 3. See if it works. And that will give you your pairs of factors. 5 um, plus 8 is 13. But remember, we want a negative 13. And so we're going to use, actually, negative 5 and negative 8 as our um, numbers that go into our factor. So it would be x plus negative 5 times x plus negative 8, or we'd actually write that as x minus 5 and x minus 8 if we want to simplify it. And you could flip-flop them. You could say x minus 8 times x minus 5. It would still be the same answer. Um, but those are your two binomials that would be the factors of x squared minus 13x plus 40.